You're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's happening guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial. And in this video guys, as you guys clearly can see, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make your videos look like a Hollywood film because last two videos I did on this topic blew up like crazy. One has around 470K, the other one has almost 160K. So I thought, why not make a video in Vegas 15, how to create an awesome uh, Hollywood effect kind of, you know, theme on any video possible. So I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now right here This is a city street green screen for a uh, free stock footage video And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to go from this to this so it's gonna be really simple So I would say let's get started So the first thing that we're gonna do is obviously in pro you know probably any movie they have like cinematic bars you know all across the screen so i'll make those bars also available for download in the description you guys can check it out you can just you know download the black bars uh, right away that i used in this video so we're going to start off with dragging those bars in all right guys so as you can see right now now the bars are in the project you can already think like dude like half of the screen is just covered up or not visible what we're going to do is we're going to go to the event pan crop section of the clip and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this arrow is selected to uh, when it's pointing down, obviously. And then what you can do, basically, you can drag uh, the clip down or, you know, or up so more and more of the clip is becoming visible. So obviously the black bars are going to cover up some part of the video. But like I said, you can just move up the bars until you're happy with. I would say this looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave it how it is. Then what we're going to do, like you guys also already seen in the thumbnail, uh, we're going to go ahead and apply some color correction to it. So I'm going to go to video effects. And the reason that I'm not going to apply any external uh, color correction presets is because you probably, you guys probably don't have that in your in your project uh, because you have to install them externally. So we're gonna, what we're going to do for this project, we're going to go to video effects, click on color uh, corrector. And right here we have a lot of presets to choose from. Now we're, what we're going to do in this case is we're going to just go ahead and drag the default one on top of the clip. And what we're going to do then is we can see three of those markers. I'm just going to uh, make this uh, box a little bit smaller. And then what you can do is you can you can uh, also choose presets. Now we have red midtones. I'm just going to go uh, through them one by one. So if we go ahead and click on red midtones, we can just go ahead and, and, and scroll down. But I'm just going to go ahead and look and see what they look like. I think this is a little bit too green. Uh, blue midtones looks actually pretty cool. Uh, the uh, the red highlights is not really that much of a difference. Uh, the green highlight not you know either uh, way. The blue highlight it, you know it spices up the video just a little bit. But in my case, what I think it looks uh, the best is obviously the uh, remove yellow cast right here. So obviously, if you say like I'm not happy with any of the presets, you can just press. Uh, the drop down menu and put this one on default and right here we have three uh, color uh, corrector mixers uh, the low the mid and the high now let's say that you want to have a little bit more blue into the screen you can drag this guy into the blue obviously the mid tones you can choose uh, what kind of colors you want if you want to have like a kind of a blue theme that's really not a problem you can just drag those guys into the blue and obviously the highlights you can choose anything else than blue i think you know mixing yellow with blue looks pretty cool but let's say that we're gonna put everything to blue a little bit more it makes the screen look a little bit colder obviously because blue is actually looking you know pretty cool but if we bring everything up to the red part of the mixers it's gonna you know make the video a little uh, look a little bit more warm like i said guys if i close down this this looks pretty cool and that's how you change up a really basic stock footage to a uh, nice cinematic uh, you know field and just a nice cinematic clip in general. So this is how to create an awesome uh, Hollywood effect. Obviously, you can download lots of presets and apply them because if I, if I you know, undo all the effects that I applied on it, what we can do is we can go to effects on the uh, clip of the stock footage. We can go to effects tab and obviously all the presets that you have installed externally will pop up right here. And we can obviously 
should uh, choose turquoise glare with ladder box if you click on add click on ok as you can see this one looks really cool and if we just uncheck the cookie cutter it's obviously going to show the black bars and you can choose and you can also edit you know this uh, template you can choose uh, many different colors and this is basically how to create an awesome hollywood effect so that's it for this video that's all i have for you guys today thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys uh, tomorrow on sunday with how to make an awesome outro so make sure to stay tuned and i will see you guys tomorrow what's up guys my name is alex welcome back to a brand new vegas 15 tutorial and in this video guys i'm going to show you guys exactly how to create an awesome outro so i would say make sure to smash the like button down below already and i would say let's get started so as you can see right now we are in vegas 15 as always and what we're going to do first of all is we're going to drag in a background that we're going to use for our outro so let's drag in that one real quick and what we're going to do right now is we are going to add in some text. So we're going to say, you've been watching just Alex Helford. And then we're going to just, you know, promote some other videos. So I'm going to go to media generators, click on titles and text. Just drag that one on top of the video track that we already have from the background, obviously. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just type in, you have been watching. And then obviously I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Let's say that we're going to make this 20. That's a little bit too small. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and we're going to place this at the top of the screen. So let's make sure that it's also in the middle, which is so, so I'm going to just go ahead and choose another font because it has to be, it has to look a little bit more uh, advanced, obviously, because you guys have looking uh, for tutorials, you know, f you know, with advanced outros, obviously. So I'm just going to uh, pick this one. This one looks pretty cool. What we're going to do is we're going to add him some outline as well. So I'm going to make that outline uh, black. Obviously, I'm going to click on there, make it black. Then so as you can see, that looks really awesome. And it says you have been watching. And right now we're going to just duplicate We'll press control C on this one. We're going to create a new layer, a new video track, and then we're going to place uh, obviously just Alex Halford but underneath it. So I'm going to remove the text and I'm going to type in just Alex, just Alex Halford. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little bit smaller and then we're going to, well, a little bit bigger. And then we're going to just place this guy underneath the text. So we're going to make sure that it's also centered. So make this guy 50 and then it is centered, obviously. So this looks pretty cool. And what we're going to do then is we're going to make a, uh, we're going to promote two videos. We're going to promote one video right here and one video right here. So what we're going to do then is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to just copy this one, create a new video track, just press control V. So we have a new layer, pretty straightforward. Then I'm going to just type in, check this one. Then I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to place it right here because you want to give this uh, video some room. So I'm going to just, you know, place it right here check this one then we're gonna just do and we're gonna copy this layer then we're gonna go ahead and insert a new video track paste it obviously and then we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this guy and then we're gonna go ahead and check this one too as you can see so make sure that it is obviously uh, looking very aligned I think this one looks pretty tight I think this one is a little bit more uh, to uh, the above so I'm gonna make it a little bit uh, down as you can see this one looks pretty cool and obviously what is an outro without music so I'm gonna drag in a song which is called no doubt by NCS a very awesome also the outro song that I use so I'm gonna just drag in that song real quick I'm gonna put on my headphones and I'm going to look for the drop of the song right here here's the drop I'm gonna just you know delete this part and we're gonna make this uh, end of this outro start off with a drop. And then we're gonna cut and then we're gonna end off the outro. It's a really short outro, it's only 10 seconds, but you don't want to have an outro that's like 30 seconds. Nobody's gonna watch it till, till the end. So we're gonna just end off the song right here. So that sounds really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch everything to the end of the uh, song. So I'm gonna just go ahead and we're gonna uh, end everything and I'm gonna just drag it all the way to the end. So this is what it looks like. I'm 
Okay, this one needs to be also to the very end. So this is how to make an awesome outro, guys. And I know this will probably look really, uh, really standard to you, but I think this is an awesome outro. We have a nice, great texture. We have just, you have been watching just Alex Halford. Check this one and check this one too. So and obviously I will be using this outro at the very end of this tutorial. So that's it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. I'm not even sure which one. It can be the web. It can be Sony Vegas. I'm not really sure which which one to post make sure to let me know in the comments what you want to see and i'll be make it and i'll make it happen so that's it i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video what's up guys my name is alex and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create a thug life effect and i know i have done this in the past but people keep asking on the videos like dude can you please make a video about how to make the thug life effect in vegas pro 15 and you know the second reason of all that i'm making this tutorial is because i can So I'm going to teach you guys exactly how to make the thug life effect in this video. So I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already. I would say let's get started. Alright guys, as you guys can see right now, we are in Vegas 15 and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I created that intro with the sunglasses, the music, the joint and the Thug Life Effects logo. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on our headset because there's audio obviously. So let's hear what the clip sounds like. What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create a Thug Life Effect. And I know I have done this in the past, but people People keep asking on the videos like dude can you please make a video about how to make the thug life effect in Vegas Pro 15 and you know the second reason of all that I'm making this tutorial is because I can Okay, so that's what the, sip, what the clips uh, looks like and sound like. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the, cl uh, the clip freeze right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to play back the video. Yes, I can. And right here, I'm gonna create a screenshot. So we're gonna go to the diskette icon above the preview screen. I'm gonna call this uh, number two. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna split on the exact same moment and we're gonna drag in that clip for a second. So if we play back the video, this is what, it's look, what it looks like. The world is because I can. So as you can see, that's basically what we want. Now, what we're gonna do in order to make this look like the Hollywood, uh, like the uh, the thug life effect, we're gonna copy this. So we're gonna just press Control C, press Control V. So we're gonna also make this zoom and fade into black and white. So we're gonna go to the video effects tab. We're gonna go to black and white, this one, and we're gonna drag that on top of the second one. So as you can see, if I do it like this, if we make a cross fade, it fades into black and white. Make it a little bit like this. As you can see right now, it is fading into black and white. Now, what we're going to do is we're going, going, going to go ahead and we're going to also copy this one. Press Control V and then we're going to make this guy zoom in a little bit. So, we're going to go to a fan pan crop of the last one. What we're going to do is we're going to just press our uh, uh, keyframe, I would say, right here. And then we're going to just zoom in a little bit. We're going to also go to the top, as you can see, like this. This is what it looks like. So that looks really cool and what we're going to do, uh, we're going to just make uh, the glasses appear right now. So we're going to just go ahead and drag in the glasses. I just found that one on Google, uh, the, the deal with the glasses. I'm going to drag that in one real quick. So as you can see right now, here are the glasses and what we're going to do is we're going to time it when the zoom stops, the glasses will appear like this. So we're going to go ahead and make this a little bit shorter and then we are going to go ahead and click on if and pan crop. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make this guy smaller and we're going to put this guy on our head on the right position. So we're going to go ahead and make it smaller as you can see. If I just go ahead and put it, you know, on me on myself, make it a little bit smaller though. So I think this one looks pretty cool. Then what we're going to do is we're going to drag the first keyframe a little bit more to the uh, to the middle and then we're gonna go ahead and make the the glasses slide in from the top So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that this icon is selected to uh, To up and down then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drag this gla those glasses out of the screen So this is what it looks like 
Boom, that's really cool. And now we make the glasses uh, slide into the screen. So that's really cool, and we're gonna do the exact same thing for the joint. Place it on the on the on the right position, make it slide in. I'm gonna do that for the joint as well. So I'll catch you guys. I'm just, I'm not gonna bore you guys with me doing that. I'll just catch you guys when that is done as well. Okay, so as you can see right now, I made the joint slide in from the left of the screen. So that looks really, really cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to also make the Thug Life Effect logo appear on the left of us. So create a new video track, drag in the Thug Life Effect logo. This one, as you can see, and for one weird reason, it has a green background. So we're going to remove that one, go to Video Effects, click on Chroma Key, drag the default one on top of the Thug Life Effect. What we're going to do is uncheck it, create, click on this little blue bar, pick the pencil icon and, and click on the green one. Logo is just visible. So that's how to do it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to also so make the logo appear and we're gonna go ahead and replace that logo to the left of us so go to the track motion icon of the uh, thug life logo we're gonna make that a little bit smaller turn it just a little bit sideways and we're gonna place that guy right here now that looks really cool as you can see we're gonna make that logo uh, appear a little bit later than the rest of the of the essentials So now that we have animated everything, what we're going to do is we're going to drag in the GTA San Andreas soundtrack. We're going to drag that in because that, that's used like a lot. So we're going to just drag in that one real quick. Okay, so now that I dragged in the uh, the sound the soundtrack of the song of, of the game, let's, let's see what it looks like. Because I can. So that looks really cool. So let's see what it looks like one more time. So that looks really cool, guys. So this is how you create uh, the actual Thug Life effect. And obviously, you just want to go ahead and just, you know, uh, when, this, when, this, when the effect is done, just press, you know, just put the last part of the video just, you know, onto each other. And this is what it looks like in total because I can. So I'm going to teach you guys exactly how to make the Thug Life effect in this video. So I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already. I would say let's get started. So that's how to do it guys. This is how you create the Thug Life effect. I hope this video was helpful to you. So that was freaking amazing. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial. As always on my channel on Tuesday. Because on the entire month of September. I will be uploading a new uh, uh, Vegas Pro 15 tutorial. Every single day until october the first so make sure to smash the like button down below and also let me know your suggestions you want to know uh, for future videos so i'll see you guys in the next video just alex halford